Usually when a pharmacy is broken into, thieves are looking for controlled narcotics, uh, high-tech cameras, state-of-the-art safes, sensitive alarms are keeping drugs secure and available to those who need it the most. A pharmacy break-in in Tuscaloosa is a shining light on both a problem and one of its solutions. The Allegro Pharmacy was broken into, but nothing was taken. Allegro Pharmacist and Columbus Branch Manager Hank Norwood says he believes the burglars were looking for narcotics. They didn't find any. We have all our control drugs, and most all pharmacies are going to have them um, in some type of security. Um, we have a lot of... Um, there are safes that people have things. There's lockup cabinets they may have it in. So, and we also, you know, don't have it in one particular place in the pharmacy. It can be intermingled throughout. So, you know, it's hard to find too what you're looking for. Advanced alarm systems, fail-proof safes, and quick police response times help prevent attempted burglaries from becoming successful. But whether the burglars are successful or not, Norwood says there's more to cleaning up broken glass and making police statements once the break-in happens. We have to immediately call our state board of pharmacy and we have to get him here to fill out forms. We have to control count. We have to go back and see what anything else is missing in the store. So it's a big time paperwork nightmare for the pharmacist and the pharmacy. We really cannot function. And, you know, and here we are trying to serve the community. We have people that need medicines, but everything has to go on hold until that can be resolved. The investigation into the Tuscaloosa Pharmacy burglary is ongoing. I'm Shawanda Jones with WCBI News telling your story live in Columbus.